I think that might be the target. What do we got? What do we got? This wasn't the plan, but got a nice fish. You got him. Yep, you got him that time. Let me get the net. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris. Got my buddy Joe over here. Hey. And I got Lily. And we have one target in mind today. We got some mud minnows and some shrimp for backup. Hopefully this is gonna work out. Fingers crossed, wish us luck guys, and we're gonna get out there. So stick around, check it out. Today guys, we are searching for some flounder, hopefully, fingers crossed. We got some mud minnows and we're gonna hook them up and we're gonna see if Joe remembers how to use a rod and reel. He's been up in Chicago for a while. Now he's back down here. Thank goodness. And uh, we're going to uh, just hook these guys a little, I got a little three-aught mustad inline circle hook. Just gonna hook them through the nose like that. Want little bite size uh, mud minnows. And the reason why we're not using shrimp is because there's so much other stuff out here that'll eat the shrimp and hopefully the mud meadows will last a little longer and i'm trying to throw it into the current so that it hopefully it'll drift a little bit along the bottom so then it'll walk its way across where a flounder is and hook up on one well we've made a, about a dozen moves and we can't seem to find them we'll probably make one more move before we call it and then have to go to backup plan but Hey, sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. All right, well, that wasn't working out, so we're moving on, plan B. All right, so now we're resorting to dropping down shrimp. Sucking up through the tail, flipping them back over, just like that. Little fish finder rig, dropping it down. I think that might be the target. Or what do we got here? Let's see what we got. It feels it feels kind of. You're you're good. You're good. I got him. Oh, I just lost. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, he cut. He got cut off. That was probably a flounder. They got some teeth. Dang it! Some keeps grabbing it. There we go. Something grabbed it. I don't think it's a flounder though. I don't know what this one is something grabbed him no oh, oh nice. black grouper but wow yeah I thought something grabbed him not what i thought though there you go buddy yeah another oh soap fish well the near shore fishing has just been a complete bust so we're going to take this back in shore throw out some shrimp see if we can make something happen Man, what a day. <laughs> I don't know, moon phase, yada yada tides, who knows. But just the bite is just shut down out here. Anyway, all right, we're gonna keep moving. All right, we just got some shrimp. Uh, we're up here along some mangrove lines and the current, and we're just gonna be throwing these guys out on some simple fish finder rigs. Hopefully get into some mess. Slow bite this morning. Hopefully this will turn things around. What do we got here? What do we got? It's come to the surface. It's a little sheep's head. A little sheep's head. Not legal, but... Hey, at least we're catching some fish now. That was absolutely ridiculous out there. Nothing was biting. Got some here. What do we got? What do we got? This wasn't the plan, but at least we're catching fish now. And another sheep's head. Oh man, that's getting bigger. Might get some keeper size sheep's head. Two sheep's head right in a row. Got 
pretty. And I'm hooked up on this one too. Man, it's just been one right after another. This is feeling sheeperish. They must be stacked up down here. And, yep, another sheep's head. But if these were legal size, I'd be over halfway to a limit right now. Right. Yeah, let me see how big they are. Step back so I can go. These are, these are getting close. Like this one is, this one's just under 12. So they're getting bigger. Well, the flounder wasn't working out, so I guess we're sheep's head fishing. Joe, Joe's got one. And what do you got, another sheeper? Another sheepy, it's probably about another 11 inch, 11 and a half inch. So that's four sheep's head. You got them, you need the pliers. Yes. All right guys, we're gonna keep this show on the road. Got a couple of nice sheep's head, but we're still head that way. It's almost island time for Lily, so. All right, she's getting a little excited, so look around to do island time a little early today. All right guys, you know what time it is. Oh, there you go. Lily's over here getting island time. Joe's over here fishing on the boat. Time to get back at it. There you go, pumpkin. All right, guys, we're making our last stand here. We got some mud minnows and a few shrimp left. Let's see what we can do. Got a nice fish. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, yeah, not so high, not so high. Did you lose them? No, you still yeah, got them. I just didn't know if what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? Uh, that was nice. Uh, oh, look at that big, uh, oh, let me get the net for that. That's a big old mangrove. That's a big old mangrove. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that whopper mangrove. Nice. <laughs> uh, just when we thought all hope was lost. What was that on? This is a, these are all mud minnows we're put, sending out because we don't really have any shrimp left. But man, that's a good sized mangrove. Let's measure him real quick. Oh, yeah. See how big that guy is. Almost 14 inch mangrove. At least you got dinner. All right. Sorry, pumpkin. Come on. Scoochy scoochy. Whew. Got a fish in the box, finally. All right, send him out again. You got him. Yep, you got him that time. Let me get the net. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh oh. It's a nice, another nice fish. Always run into the pylons. Oh, scooch, scooch up, scooch up, scooch up. Oh, another nice mangrove. Yep. Yeah. Man, there we go. Start. Man, <laughs> it looked pretty dismal there for a little while, but now things are picking up. Yeah, he, he got that Choked one. It. Yeah. I'll probably just keep that hook. Just tie a new one on. Uh, nice. This guy is. 
Another 12 inch mangrove. All right, get him, get him. It's another one. I have to retie what I do with my pliers. Got him, got him. Man, these are pretty good, nice sized mangroves. Oh wait, no, that's a ba sea bass. Here, pick it up. Hopefully we can just save the, the bait because we don't have very much left. Don't want to hurt you, buddy. But I do want my bait and my hook back. Yep, he's fine. There you go. All right, send that guy back out. Right on that wall. Yep. I got him. I just let go. Dang it. Oh, hey. another nice one. Yeah. Yeah. I was just checking to see the bait. Yeah, you definitely got to get the net. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh uh, no, that's a toad. <laughs> a toad. Oh. Wah wah wah. Yeah, let's see. Mother, the old mother-in-law. Let's get her hook back there, buddy. Open up. Got him, got out of time. This is our go home fish. Oh, uh, don't lose him, don't lose him. Oh, uh, it's another sea bass. Yeah, these gotta be 13 inches, but these things are freaking delicious when you can keep them. All right, guys, well, it was looking pretty dismal there at the beginning, and the plan was to go get some flounder, but they just were not having it. We looked everywhere out there for them. Even though last time I went out, uh, we dropped right on top of them and got some. But we brought it back ashore. We caught a few fun few fish. Lily got some island time. I'll chalk that up as a win. Joe's back, so yay, Joe's back. Anyway, thanks for coming along. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy jabs. Give this video a big thumbs up. Shows us you appreciate the content, and we appreciate you guys. So until we see you next time, guys, stay salty. See ya.